Chunky Baduki absolutely had an outstanding freshman season. And this sophomore season plans to be one of the best in history, but he only has 28 pancakes and the goal is to get to 500. And if he doesn't get there, that means I failed a challenge and has to absolutely buy someone in the comments a jersey. So drop a comment down below. We're going into the first game against App State. Boom! That's how you run through somebody. Wait for them to get back up and go for round two, but he absolutely didn't get him. But on second and two, absolutely pull again, lay another big block, and he gets an eight yard rush, and I threw him to the ground, son. Huh? Does the grass taste good down there, buddy? I bet you would know, but on first and ten, I mean, pulling every play for me, boom, is gonna be the way to beat this challenge, because I am knocking them off of their rockers, but I don't know if it's gonna be the way to win the game. Me, oh my, I was just knocking them off of their rockers, but on fourth and goal, I was absolutely blocking up, finally got a block, and Trevor Etienne did not get in the box, so let's see what our defense is gonna do, and it's looking like they are not getting no pass rush, and they absolutely get the first down, so it's gonna be an offense favor to win this game, fellas. So on third and three, I'm just sitting there not blocking anyone, and my teammate absolutely fights for that end zone, and I told him, I said, hey, man, if you play like that every game, you might just be something, but on fourth and seven, we go for it somehow, and it turns into a fumble, and when I say this boy Johnson was gone, I said I was <laughs> trying to catch him, but I just couldn't get him, and I mean, he just took that ball away from Montreal Johnson Jr. like he was his dad, but on first and ten, I absolutely knock him out of the club, and on first and goal, I knock him right into the running back. That just wasn't good. On third and goal, I was working on my pass set because I was just letting these defenders run right past me. And on second and goal, I lay another block and we go in for six. We will win our first game and Chunky Badookie is off to a great start with seven pancakes. Going into our next game, Chunky Badookie had to sit out the first beginning of the game because he was drinking this weekend with his friends. And for some reason, coach just failed to realize that I'm a student athlete and sometimes I got to put student first. But that's besides the point. We had a big game ahead of us against Eastern Michigan and coach got out his feelings and put me back in the game and I absolutely boomed him waited for him to get up and boom 41 caught a cheat shot oh man but on third and eight I absolutely didn't make my block just being in my head just absolutely being in my head because coach didn't put me in so we absolutely kicked three going into the next play I have a pool play every play because I'm absolutely trying to knock them off of their rockers and put them in that dirt ayo hey, no diddy but on second and four I absolutely take ACL MCL out of he will bounce it outside and take it for six but we go on to win the ball game 31 to 14 and I only have two pancakes they're getting the starting job back on first and 10 I pulled around that corner I said boom you're gonna feel me this game and I absolutely tried to take ACL MCL out but he ended up making the tackle but on third and one I absolutely knocked him off of his rockers and first and 10 boom me pulling every time I'm absolutely gonna put you on the ground I mean I'm 5'5 five, five, and I'm coming at you like 300 so what you think you're gonna do you're gonna fall but with us having seven points boom it's time to score some more have you ever seen somebody get ran over at the same time but that was number 30 and 13 well I will go try and <laughs> hawk the running back and lay it another block for him oh yeah and you might think the sliders is up but when you just have a freak of nature of a player like that you were just that fast but on third and four coming back laying another block for montreal johnson jr he will absolutely take it all the way to the crib and we were hyped up like we won the championship but he absolutely ends the game off with nine pancakes and it's time to get to that 500 pancakes going into our next game this game right here boom has always been personal for chunky padukey he just doesn't like tennessee you know when you just don't like somebody bam he just doesn't like him. Man, when I say they were getting in his head by celebrating, they were getting all in his head. He was out there missing blocks, tripping over his feet, but we still go in a score to finally try to gain the momentum back. But I absolutely take ACMC a lot. I was trying to hurt him. But he absolutely turned him back and boom. Oh, man, that was a dirty block right there, man. And absolutely trying to get him out of the club. They were rallying the ball and they started to get the momentum back. But we will kick three. And I mean, just look at him. He was upset. But on second and four, we had a deuce down block. And I told him, just move up. I can handle him by myself. But going into the next play on first and 10, boom, I absolutely hit him so hard. We didn't even go nowhere. But on third and goal, I was absolutely blocking up, turned him. He had nowhere to go because when I put that grip on your chest, it's nowhere to go. But just look at this wide receiver. How he absolutely made both of them miss and dragged him into that end zone. That was beautiful. But we're going to win the game 23-0. He ends the game off with five total pancakes. Going into our next game against University of Kentucky, I think I started to drink too much beer. And the reason I say that, man, is because one, I'm getting fat, and two, I just can't breathe. And I don't care what a coach could tell me. I can run as much as I can, run miles every day, run after practice. Coach, it's not going to work. When I get in that game in this fast pace, I'm tired. And one thing Chunky don't like seeing is the other team celebrating, but I give all props to him because I'm telling you, when that D-lineman hit me in my chest, I said, oof, that hurts. But we're already up by six points, and on second and goal, I pull and lay the good block. It takes us up 
14 and somehow some way they got 14 points on that board they get a second said you're going nowhere and on fourth and seven i said no nah, we gonna win this ball game but we go for it on fourth down and turn it over and they absolutely throwing our defender around like it's nothing going and getting first down so they go on to give us our first loss and he ends the game off with no pancakes going into our next game against lsu I absolutely put hands to this little boy and throw him to the ground son you don't belong on the same field as me on first and 10 i absolutely clamped down on i made sure to put some sticky glue on my gloves because i wasn't letting go and on first and 10 we fumbled that ball and they absolutely get on it it didn't go well and on third and six i was blocking nothing but air and they was celebrating and on first and 10 i absolutely laid another big block for montreal johnson jr he gets up that sideline and on first and goal he will go in for six and he said give me that and on first and 10 absolutely i'm trying to run through these defenders but they absolutely are rallying ball we lose another game he ends game off with no pancakes again going into our next game against Vanderbilt he is not on a great road of getting 500 pancakes but that stiff arm right there by Montreal Johnson Jr man that kid right there is special mama but back to reality it's something I'm gonna have to do to change this it's either gonna mind me transferring to a lower school or a trash conference to get these pancakes up but I gotta win this challenge because hey the bank ain't looking too good but going into the next one 39 I lay a big block for Trevor ET and he will hit that corner and go in for six but on first and ten bam oh yeah that's how you knock him off his rockers but on second and eight i'm absolutely blocking up on this pass play and man did the quarterback throw a rocket to douglas and he goes all the way for six but on first and ten bam get on the ground but i knocked him into the running back and on first and goal i'm looking for a block and didn't block nobody but we will score but we're absolutely going for two because we're just trying them at this point we just want to score but it's 32 to 15 for the final and i I only had like two pancakes that game. It's something I got to do to get better because this is not given. Going into our next game against Missouri has to be one of the biggest games we're playing and it's because I'm playing my brother, Storm Flair Badooki. And I'm not going to lie, they started off intense and they started celebrating. So I said, boom, get on the ground. I cannot lose to my brother. Do you know how much he's, boom, going to brag about this if he wins? So I said, I'm going to take all my anger out on all of you and I don't know what I was doing. I tried to hit the running back. I don't know. And when I say Missouri came to play, they came to play and some reason and we're kicking field goals from the logo. I don't know what's going on, but I finally get to block my brother, and he didn't know what to do. I said, you're boxed up. You're my son today. And on third and eight, whoa, get to the ground. I absolutely threw him down, and my brother was frustrated. They usually blow teams out, and they are not doing that to us, but it's 21-7, to 7 and we are kind of getting whooped, but we go down and score, and I was absolutely fired up. I made sure to get down that field, but boom, absolutely the best blocking that I've had all season. But on first and goal, I'm absolutely sitting here trying to find some work, Then I found work and we go down to score. It's 28-28 and overtime and Montreal Johnson Jr. hits the outside and we'll go for six. And things are getting serious now. We have to keep scoring because they are striking back. It's 42-42 as we score again and it's kind of fourth down and they are hyped up. But we give them the ball back and then we get the ball back and on first and 10, we got the first down. We're on first and goal. I'm blocking up and he goes in for six. It's 48-48 to first and goal and I'm absolutely trying to look for work. I don't have anyone to block but we will go in and score and we will win the ball game. 50 48. I beat you, brother. Going into our next game against Georgia. Boom! I've been in that corner and absolutely put him on his back and said, son, you're going to stay down there all night. And I mean, I'm talking getting off that ball, shooting my hands, hitting my landmarks, and absolutely stabbing and grabbing to make sure he can't go anywhere. I was not here to play. But with the great blocking up front, we lead us down to the goal line. And on third and goal, I don't have anyone to block, but we will go in for six to start the game off. And I come around that corner and I'm talking about I about took him off his feet. But my trail goes in for six. But on second and ten, I was blocking blocking him up and he tried to long arm me kid i wish you would on third and 12 i was absolutely blocking up again and douglas could go all the way for six but we are down 21 28 third and six we will not get it done and look we're not even hustling to get to the ball we want to lose and we will go lose the ball game that is just ridiculous but losing that game he only had one pancake that is just another loss on our record going into our next game imagine me waiting and booming you but you still made the tackle so i give you props but on first and ten i I absolutely came around that corner and took ACL MCL out. I feel bad for that kid. I tried to hurt him. But man, coaches always told me you got to be mean and nasty if you want to play this position right here. And coaches has never lied. When they said it's no football without that offensive line and D-line, there is not. Who's going to pay for a 7 on 7? Not me. But we will absolutely keep going down the field to score. But no, they sacked the quarterback 
and absolutely stared them down. So we go ahead and kick three. But you really thought we were going to let the Miami Hurricanes stop us on third and 10. Merch throw a dot. Oh, man. Just look at that. That was crazy. But on second and nine, good block from me. He hit the hole and absolutely go almost in for six. And on first and goal, we will go ahead and win the ball game. And Chucky was ready to go get a beer. Going into our next game against the South Carolina Gamecocks, we are going to treat them as such. They are five and four and they obviously lose a lot. So let's give them another L. Make them five and five. But with the big rush to start the game off on third and 14th, I made a block, but they got off of it. I mean, he absolutely dipped a rip and shed it right around that block and made a tackle for loss. But on first and 15, I make another block and Montreal will hit that sideline, but I'm over here just playing in the grass. At this point, I'm just knocking the blocks into the running back. But they absolutely go on to beat us and we lose another game. Nobody had pancakes. Going into our next game against Florida State after losing so many games, we're not even ranked anymore and it's time for change. On first and 10, I absolutely boomed him. Oh man, and tried to get his teammate as well. But on second and three, I come around that corner, lay a big block and Trevor Etienne will get up the field. But on fourth and 16, I'm blocking up, but I just don't have enough pancakes, man. I'm not going to beat this challenge. And something's going to have to give, but on first and 10, after laying a big block, Johnson Jr. will get up that field and oh man, he gets shoestring. But on first and 10, boom, I laid him down as Johnson gets up the field. But as we get down to the goal line, we will go in like it was nothing to score. And on second and four, I'm laying up a good block, but boarding him gets that ball and he strikes like a lightning boy. There is no catching him. He is gone. But on fourth and four, I absolutely make another good block and we were, we we're just running the score up at this point. But on first and 10, it's 21 to 14 and look at that. Wilson, I mean, everything is working for us and guess what? It's because of the good blocking that I'm up here doing. But being short of the first down, we will go ahead and kick three and I only had two pancakes, but we still going to win the game. But I have some bad news. I am entering the transfer portal due to no pancakes and I'm transferring to New Mexico. I hope this is a great fit. Boom for Chunky Baduki, but New Mexico, yeah, it may be the worst team, but with this trash conference that they're going to have, hopefully that he can do something with it and get as many pancakes as he can to beat this challenge. And when I say the whole program loved him when he came in, I mean, who wouldn't love a five-star athlete? And when I say Chunky was excited to be here, man, he even stopped drinking beer, but on first and 10, I mean, look at the defense. Even the defense is getting after it, but bam, I'm absolutely standing over him, come back around and bam him again. Oh, man. Well, on second and six, I'm absolutely booming everyone, and I just feel like the man. I may be short, but I'm stocky, and I will run right through you. But on fourth and one, we didn't get it, and it was just kind of hard for us to score. But on second and nine, I absolutely stabbed and grabbed and made sure that he couldn't go anywhere, and the quarterback was toting that rock. But on fourth and five, I'm over here trying to block someone, but they will go get a sack. But on third and ten, I'm blocking up again, and we just cannot score, and they are celebrating out there. But we go ahead and kick three, and we nail the ball and win the game. He had eight pancakes in his first game. But drop in the comments down below, is this a great fit for me, and will I complete this challenge or not?